Welcome to weekly financial modeling tips by the Startup Station. So this week we're talking about how to model a sales force. Okay, and so what we need to figure out here is how many salespeople do we hire um, every month, right? What is the sales cycle? And how many conversions can we achieve per sales cycle per salesperson? We're not complicating the situation by accounting for the fact that maybe a new person does not perform at 100% for the first sales cycle. You can also model that in once you understand the general logic. Okay, so let's see how to model a sales force. Here are our assumptions. Um, each salesperson converts 10% uh, of the leads that generate 20 leads per month. There's a two month sales cycle and each contract is valued as $10,000. You may choose to compress the um, assumptions of leads and the conversion rate in, into just saying that every two months we convert X number of clients. Whatever you want to do is fine. Let's begin with our current scenario. So here we are deciding on the hiring timeline in terms of how many new salespeople we hire. Okay. And we are not incorporating the fact that for the first sales cycle, a new salesperson may not be as effective. You may do that, but here we're not doing that, not to complicate things. So first let's calculate how many total salespeople we have. Okay, so for the first month, it's just gonna be however many we hired. And then we're also going to incorporate how many salespeople we have from the previous months. Okay, then we're going to calculate how many total leads do our salespeople generate every month. Okay, and that's gonna be the total number of salespeople times the number of leads each salesperson generates each month. Okay, I'm gonna paste that down. Okay, now we need to incorporate the sales cycle. So we're gonna go to the third month because it takes two months to convert and we're going to take the total number of leads, use the floor function, not to allow for partial conversions and multiply the total number of leads by the conversion rate, okay? And so of course, out of 20 contracts with a 10% conversion rate, we got two conversions. The last step is to calculate the revenue, which is to take the number of contracts sold and multiply it by the contract value. I'm going to paste that down and let's make this visible. And here you go. In one year, you have made $1.58 million. So here you go. Please sign up to this YouTube channel for more weekly financial modeling tips every week. And to learn our framework for modeling early stage ventures, please sign up to our masterclass, which is absolutely free and it's called Build Credible Financials for Your Early Stage Venture. The link is in the description. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week.